Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you, darling. You're doing a screening for the yeah. NHS, aren't you? A drive-in cinema for the NHS to say thank you uh, at Palace or Holyrood. I mean, the NHS, oh my goodness. What an extraordinary testament, really, to the creation of the NHS. I mean, we're so lucky to have that. Speaking to, you know, to lots of them, you know, during lockdown, and at various points um, of this last year, some of them, you know, who get who had um, COVID themselves, they then felt bad that they were letting their teammates down and they weren't there. And it's yeah. amazing work ethic. And, you know, they just went above and beyond, really, uh, and still do, obviously. But, um, but no, I, and that's why I suppose we wanted to do, um, you know, thank them in, in this way and, and, and celebrate some of the work they're doing. It was quite Brilliant. nice. To, to, to put Cruella on, I think a few days before actually it premieres. Is that right? I think premieres mm -hmm. end of May, doesn't it? It opens here on Friday. It's, it's the origin story of Cruella de Vil. So, you know, how did she become this monster? And then Emma is kind of a, well, you're a very complicated person too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in life. As a character, she's great, simple. She's great. <laughs> so wait, wait till you see the clothes. It's unbelievable. You're going to want all of em of Emily's clothes. They're so amazing. <laughs> Obviously, you won't be able to wear them in public. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so brilliant. Jenny Bevan, who designed them all, won an Oscar for Mad Max a couple of years back. So we're very lucky. And was it a fun film to to film? Oh, it was so much fun. We were all over. We were all over London. We were in front of Liberty. They transformed what is it, Carnaby Street? into yeah. 70s London, yeah. which was amazing. And then um, we were in front of Buckingham Palace at one point. I was riding a motorcycle around yeah. the mall. We should, we should have had you stopped, Emma. It's very dangerous. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I really got away with it. It was yeah. incredible. <laughs> On my motorcycle being trailed, a car trailing me around Buckingham Palace. <laughs> in a crazy outfit. <laughs> yeah. In a crazy outfit. Makeup oh, really? just smeared down my face, black and white hair. It was insane. Of course, you see, I was alive in the 70s. So I kept looking at all the frocks and thinking, I think that's mine. <laughs> from, <laughs> I'm sure I've, I've, <laughs> I've worn that. You know, you, you won't remember because you're all too young. But one day when we were shooting, there was, um, there was a, a demonstration on in London and, and our car couldn't get to, to where we were shooting. We were shooting in Covent Garden. And I said, we've got to get out and we've got to go by tube. And I was in a wig this high <laughs> and makeup, like, I mean, huge makeup. You'll see, like my eyelashes, I look like a llama. And we got <laughs> on the tube to go to Covent Garden. And I swear to God, I thought it's going to be fine. It's only Sunday morning. It's nine o'clock Sunday morning. There won't be anyone. That, it was rammed, rammed. <laughs> And no one took a, the slightest bit of notice. They all clearly thought I was a drag act on the way home. Did you make it on time? I did. We did in the end. She did, thought, and I didn't I did. because I stayed in the car. I was like completely loaded into the car. And I was like, I'm not going on the tube. I was going you on. couldn't have done because you're I'm not doing it. I'm not doing yeah, it. I'm sitting here for an hour. Life. And hugging. Can we just talk about hugging? <laughs> I got propositioned by a 96-year-old lady called Betty yesterday who wanted to kiss me. Aww. She's in a care home with her daughter. And I said, Betty, if I do that, I'm going to get slapped on the back of her head for being, you know, inappropriate social distancing. And she said, I'll have you afterwards then. <laughs> <laughs> she was a right character. I also got asked yesterday in a care home. Um, Is what, this what I happens when I'm not around? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> she wouldn't have said I've got a window. <laughs> she saw her way in. She saw her way in. Um, listen, we've got to let you guys go. Um, yeah. But thank you so much for for sort of well talking to us for starters, but also for letting us show the film. They're going to love it on Wednesday, and there's been a real buzz about it. So it'd be exciting that we're getting to watch it two days before it comes out in the UK. So um, thank you. Thank you both so much. Thank well, you so you. so much. It's so nice to see you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye darlings. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Lots of love. Bye.